Hi, it's John. It's the 4th of December 2014 and we've had some cold weather now, so we've got winter come and uh, just uh, been down the post office and noticed this bit of hedge that hasn't been cut and it's got some nice, um, what they call old man's beard in it, um, which is like a, a clematis, a wild clematis type plant. And then this, these are the seed heads, these white things. And it looks really nice. Um, most of the hedges around here have been really flailed back, which also looks nice. It looks tidy. Um, but of course, uh, a bit stark. But it's nice to have the hedges around because it stops the, um, it stops the wind a bit and also gives wildlife a bit of something to get into. Uh, so it's a nice bit of uh, clematis there. I've just been thinking and it's um, sad how some people don't really feel any responsibility to um, sort of pass the time of day with you you know, um, have a conversation. I don't know whether it's a middle class thing, but I, I feel a sort of responsibility to pass the time of day with somebody, you know, polite conversation. Um, uh, you know, what's going on, you know. But some people sort of feel afraid of any sort of gossip. I suppose it goes back to the um, Second World War, isn't it? You know, loose tongues cost lives. But really, it's sort of passing the time of day and conversation, which which makes makes life worth living. You know, uh, having an opinion and knowing what other people are doing, and sort of finding a sort of little role model for yourself and. Um, learning from other people. One of the problems is sort of lack of benevolence. You know, you can feel that the world is against you and, and you have to be very cautious of everybody because, um, you know, they've got it in for you. So don't sh share anything with anybody. Uh, because they're just looking for an excuse to get at you and your friends. Which of course is a very sad way of looking at life. Because really it's the social thing which makes life worth living. I mean in the old days when you used to go down to the public house, have a drink. But it wouldn't be necessarily for the drink, it'd be just to sort of meet up with people. So, you know, if the, land, the landlord, landlady are friendly, you know. I would have a chat, have an informal chat. You know, someone who's friendly, benevolent, who's not going to have a go at you. Um, I suppose, you know, now we've moved into uh, the uh, consumer society, where we just consume things. Um, the, uh, uh, material things become more important and social aspects of life become less important. Um, which as, uh, you know, as I say, is a very sad state of affairs. Um, I mean, in my opinion, all, all, all you need in material things is enough just to keep you going. Um, you know, you don't need to ever increase one's standard of living in a way, sort of doing that is a betrayal of oneself, you know, because you decide, or you decide who you are, or you become who you are, and then if you, if you always say, no, I don't like that person, um, you know, you'd, for, well, forget who you are, but you're betraying yourself, if you're always striving to be, uh, you know, live a celebrity lifestyle. Anyway, bye for now.